hello everyone i hope you all are doing great in today's video i'm going to show you how we can create a kind of you know comparison trend line in which you want to compare today's traffic data with yesterday's data or you may want to compare today's data with any of the previous days data which can be uh, seven days ago old data or maybe any any data of your choice okay so uh, we are going to go in detail of how we can create this kind of data as you can see here on the screen i have today's data and which is being compared with yesterday's data and seven days ago data so uh, quickly we can you know see that seven days ago we had almost zero traffic and today and yesterday we have almost you know similar uh, sort of pattern of traffic so uh, this kind of uh, trend line can be very useful to quickly understand what is the flow like or whether there is any issue because if you see if if you are expecting the traffic to be same for today yesterday and day uh, minus seven and then suddenly you see there the, the traffic is not matching then it means there is some issue which is going on and this kind of trend line can help you uh, point out to that issue now i'm going to show you how we can create uh, this kind of data in detail but let's try to first understand uh, this graph okay or let's uh, let's try to uh, see what is the data which you have so uh, right now the data which i have is kind of uh, traffic data okay of all the web uh, service request which has been made so if i just run this command you can see we have almost like we have quite a lot of event to be honest we have like 200000 uh, plus events and we are just going to uh, do a count of all of these event and so for that uh, as i have already shown you in my previous tutorial for that we can just quickly use time chart and we can also define a span of let's say uh, one day and then we can also do a count okay so if i hit enter now and if i change it to visualization we should be able to do uh, we should be able to you know visualize a daily trend line chart which is going to uh, show us data something like this okay so i have data starting from almost from 31st march which is going up to 25th of april which is as of today and this is the trend line okay this is the kind of you know day wise uh, trend line but we don't want to you know, do this kind of uh, analysis in this case we want to compare today's data with yesterday data and so on okay now before we move forward uh, one thing which i would like to let you know whenever you do this kind of comparison there are two types of uh, time which you need to you know uh, make sure that uh, which is the time you want to choose from whether you want to deal with a relative time frame or you want to deal with fixed time frame for example when you want to compare today's data with yesterday data and in that case if from here if you select last 24 hours then in that case it is going to be a relative time frame so if you select last 24 hours in that case it is going to give you whatever the hour which is going on from that hour to last 24 hours so it's not going to be starting from 0 0 okay not going to be starting uh, exactly from midnight so that's the reason in that case what we can do is uh, we can specify earliest and latest as you can see here in this case i'm just going to use earliest and latest which is going to uh, tell it to you know start earliest uh, from 10 days ago and keep today's data okay so if i run the same thing again uh, one thing is it is going to limit the data and it is going to show the data only from last 10 days and it is also going to you know show us the data based on not based on relative time but based on you know fixed days time uh, it's going to make more sense when we move on to our day wise comparison so now we are going to use a different command which is called time uh, wrap okay so the syntax of time wrap is pretty straightforward uh, you use d to if you want to uh, do a day wise uh, trend line comparison you can use w if you want to do a week wise comparison so in this case i'm just going to use d for day wise comparison and you can uh, so i'm just going to uh, first just going to show you until this point of time and let's see what is the data which we get and then i'm going to show you uh, some more detail about it okay so this is the kind of you know uh, comparison which we have as of now as you can see since we have done you know day wise comparison and our uh, time chart span is also day wise that's the reason you say uh, see only one data point for every day okay so this is not typically which we want when we are doing day wise comparison we want to uh, probably analyze the data for each hour so in that case i'm going to change it to one edge which is going to be referring to hour and hit enter again and let's see what is the data which we have now okay now you can see we have data something like this so we have latest day which is today's uh, data and then we have one day before we have two days before three days before and so on okay so uh, if you 
no time wrap command is now what it is doing is it is uh, it is basically calculating every day's data and also you can see since we have put earliest and latest so the start of the day is happening from 12.00 am so i'm just gonna remove it for a moment and then just gonna run it to show you uh, what is the importance of specifying that date and time okay so here i'm just gonna run it like this and now you can see since it is starting from relative time so it's gonna be you know showing us comparison of one day ago uh, depending on what is the time now so it is almost like uh, 10 p.m. so that's the reason it is going 24 hours you know behind from 10 p.m. for today's data and so on okay so it is starting from 10 p.m. Uh, this is not really which we want when we are doing day wise comparison so I'm just gonna uh, roll it back and gonna give it earliest is equal to minus 10 day at the rate d and latest is equal to at the rate d okay so this is the data which we have now one thing which um, you can see here is that all the days is being post fixed by days underscore before okay so that's the name which is given automatically by time wrap and then there is a you can use series is equal to short so what it will do is it is going to change this you know column names and it's going to give a short name which is going to be s0 s1 s2 and so on So let's run it and let's see what is the difference which we are gonna see okay so now you can see for we don't have today we have s0 which is uh, specifying today and then we have s1 s2 s3 s4 and so on okay so you can uh, depending on whatever your requirement is you can decide whether you want series is equal to short or you don't want it it's gonna be useful when you want to do a pattern search or pattern filter or if you just want to don't want to deal with longer names in that case you can also use it now uh, let's say we want to compare uh, today's data with yesterday data which means we just want s0 and s1 so in that case you can uh, filter it by using fields and in fields we need three fields we need time uh, this is a time field so this is definitely which we need and then we need s0 and we need s1 okay and also uh, okay now let's run it and let's see what is the data which we are getting this time okay so this time we have only two fields which is s0 and s1 okay so it's doing a comparison of uh, today's data with yesterday's data so which is fine and what we can have as well is uh, for example if you let's say want to compare uh, s3 data as well uh, or s7 data you can specify that as well here so in this case i'm just going to keep uh, give s0 s1 and s7 okay so this is the data which we are getting in this case and also now uh, af after that if you want to you know rename s0 to today then in that case you can just use rename command and i'm going to rename s0 as let's say we want to call it uh, today and s1 let's say we want to call it as yesterday and we want to for to s7 we want to call it as seven days ago okay and let's run this search again and now you can see we have today yesterday and seven day ago data so this is how you can create a you know comparison between different days of data over a period of time and if you want uh, uh, to compare or you do a weekly compare so that is possible as well you just need to change time ref from d to w uh, let's quickly try to do it and see how it works so i'm just going to change it to w and also i'm going to remove all of these for now let's just run it and see how it works and probably also span we when we are comparing you know weekly data we don't really want a span of hour we are probably going to be interested in day a day wise span so i'm just going to change it to day wise and then we are having you know a weekly comparison so s0 is uh, is basically this week's data and s1 is you know last week's data uh, one more thing if you notice here it is actually just you know giving us last uh, 10 days data so i'm going to change it to last 15 days so we have complete two weeks of data oh okay and yeah let's just make it 14 so we can have exactly two weeks of data because right now it was showing almost three weeks of data 
okay so s0 is our this week's data and s1 is you know last week's data so uh, that's how it's showing right now so again if you want you can rename s0 as uh, this week and you can also rename s1 to last week and then you can see this is a trend line which is which it is going to show you and uh, again uh, this kind of visualization is very useful when you want to do some sort of comparison over the time uh, so that's all uh, i had to show in this video if you have any question do feel free to write in the comment section if you have some uh, specific requirement for which you want me to create a video please let me know in the comment section i'm gonna be more than happy to explore that area and going to create a video for you so thank you so much for watching see you again in the next video